<laughs> Welcome to your own living room. <laughs> and thanks for doing this today. I really appreciate it. We are so happy to talk to you. I think the city is very excited for some change, some new blood, some excitement. What do you want to see different with Pride? Last year was World Pride uh, and it was a huge, huge, huge success thanks to the volunteers and the staff. They worked extremely, extremely hard and we raised the bar. Uh, pride will never be Pride the way that it was in Toronto yeah. before. People have huge expectations. Not only the Torontonians, the people from all over the country, from all over the world. All my friends last year, all your friends I'm sure, felt in love with Toronto. But there's no way we can just go back and do the same things that we were doing over and over. We had the success of World Pride. Are we just gonna, you know, let it go and go back to do the same thing? So are we gonna do something exceptional? The staff at Pride and the team of volunteers were amazing. They were able to sign a few multi-year deals with some of our partners as well. So the staff is still excited now. They have the knowledge and the expertise to do something much better. So let's do it. <laughs> That's great. What do you want to bring that you think hasn't been brought in? What is something like fresh that you think it might have been missing? Pride was a very small organization uh, 35 years ago now. It's a huge organization that is known all over the world. So it's time to bring some best practices, some knowledge and run this organization like the big monster that it is. I think, yeah. you know, I think it's time for us to uh, listen better uh, to the community, to have a strat plan in place. It's time as well to make sure that we give the tools to the staff to do their job properly. Uh, we are moving in a new office as well. It's time for us now to get the structure in place to be able to have a substantial pride that we're going to be able uh, to, uh, to, to, to do this year, but that we're going to be able to, to create every year as well. And really build, 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 build. For the last 15 years, uh, I I, I work as an entertainment reporter. I sat on many, many, many boards. Uh, I love uh, culture. I love LGBTQ issues as well. I think that we have a lot of things to do and I think that Pride is the best place to do it. I'm very excited, but I'm also extremely humble. This is a huge organization. And, and I know that the challenges are there, but I, I can wait to do this full time. Are you nervous? There's a lot of like <laughs> different components coming at you as soon as this starts, yeah, right? Absolutely. We have just a few months to organize this year's festival. Uh, yeah, I'm extremely nervous. Uh, I'm extremely excited as well, but we can do it. We yeah. can definitely do it. You've been to many prides maybe in mm -hmm. the world, have you? What are some of like the coolest prides on the planet right now, would you say? Uh, by far, uh, I would say Mardi Gras mm -hmm. in Australia. And I love the model that they have as well. First, it's not a Pride weekend or a Pride week, it's a Pride month. They have an amazing cultural uh, top of the game uh, program to offer. They have an amazing night parade that is so beautiful, but also they really care about their trans community and they do a lot of human rights uh, uh, conference and activities mm -hmm. and a lot of huge cultural exhibition as well. They literally brought Pride to a next level and they raise money as well for their community. So all these things are wonderful. I think last year we did amazing and I think we can do even better. Thank you, Mathieu. I look forward to this next year. I'm really excited. Thank you.